What's up guys? Sorry I'm out of breath, I just got done running to grab the backpack and stuff. But we're at the FSU lab, we finally made it after a long 18 hour drive through the night. And now we're sanding the beach after we got packed and unpacked and ate a little quick lunch. Uh, we just caught a cool fish. Just caught a yeah, bat fish in the sand, sanding the beach. No, the underside's pretty bland. I'm gonna snap it. I'm gonna snap it. Golly, Very he's cool. Just, he's definitely like a mutated sculpin. Yeah. <laughs> an, an, uh, an ambush predator. You know he just sits down there oh, waiting yeah. for. Should we send him off? Yeah, sure. Okay. Watch him swim. How does he swim? Like a frog. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Super cool fish. Um, we're still sanding. We're going to go hit up some more grass. So hopefully we catch something else that's cool. A little stargazer. <laughs> the underside. Spot. Blue crab. <laughs> yeah, spot yeah, give a five dollars to somebody let it hang off their nose. <laughs> Boy, that would hurt. I love that blue though. Man, that's as blue as your shirt. I feel like it would swing itself and get my ear. Just cut my ear lobe in half. Oh, a lot of little fish. Who's got told his sandals? I do. I'm gonna let it go. Anchovies. <clears throat> Maybe not. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, heart crab. That's awesome. Cool. He needs water. A tiny plate fish, yeah. Just moving, not like a piece of seaweed should move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, that totally looks like a cod. Look at his dorsal. Yeah. How does it focus? So, this is potentially some type of cod that we just. A tiny little cod. Alright, and I know that whole saning process was pretty sporadic and disorganized, but. We do have a bucket of really cool fish to show for it. Um, Noah's grabbing the viewing box and then I'll give you some close-ups of them. Did you find the larval? No. Here's one of our more unique catches. It's a leptocephalus larvae that we caught in the same. Here's a new lifer for me, and also my first ever saltwater fish. Um, 
it's, it's either a long nose killifish or a um, or a central coastal or something killifish. I don't know, but there it is. I'll figure it out later and let you know. Sweet. I just caught this silver perch by jigging next to this pole. Another new species. Uh, it was on part well part worm part anchovy. Nice, cool. I just I just caught this little gray snapper by uh, also jigging those pylons. Awesome. I just caught a pinfish once again fishing the pillars. Pretty little fish. Noah's hooked up on something right now. What is it? Cool. <laughs> nice. That's fun. Am I getting a picture for me? Yeah, totally. I just saw a school of little fish and then I grabbed the micro rod and I caught one and turned out it was a little spot. So that's another new species. Hey guys, it's day two of the trip. I know the footage from yesterday was pretty sporadic and um, disorganized and random stuff was going on, but I'd be lying if I said that the, most of this trip won't be like that. So that's how it's kind of kind of going to be. We're just running around trying to see as many cool fish as we can. So things get kind of random and sporadic, and I can't film everything. I got to have both hands. So. Um, Today we're just going to hang out around the FSU um, marine lab doing some fishing and sailing and, and just exploring this area. Should be a good good time here. Um, and it's a beautiful place. It's, this is awesome just having this ocean view. The beach house. It's pretty great here. So yeah, just stay tuned. Um, We'll see, hopefully we catch a bunch more cool fish. Is that an Atlantic? I think so. They have that uh, sharp kind of okay. nose thing.
Maxfield actually just caught this stingray. So we're not sure quite what these are yet, but we're going to look it up once we get back to the car probably. Pretty fish though. Noah just caught a seminal killie fish. Stop spinning. <laughs> and that is his first new species of the trip. It's hard for him to catch a bunch of new species since he already has like a 185 or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and catch one now. Okay, I just caught my seminal killifish. Beautiful. Alright, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, I didn't do an introduction for the Wakula Springs tour, but that was an awesome trip. We went on a, on a pontoon boat as you have already seen and saw a bunch of neat birds and manatees and alligators and fish too um, and then we made a stop here at this boat landing in this bridge and we're doing some micro fishing um, so far I've caught two new species and Noah's caught one maybe two and then the rest of the crew's also fishing and just hanging out so we're gonna keep fishing here just for a little bit longer and then I think we're going to head back to this really beautiful pool and stream area where we're going to do some um, more fishing. So yeah, stay tuned for that and uh, 
I'll keep you updated. Is a red fin? <laughs> Toss it in. That's just a big old gambusio. Somebody gave me a... I just caught what I've heard called a metallicus. A beautiful fish. Just dipped in it, this Elizomid. Wow, that thing is colorful. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. There's a female Elizomid, a male. What did you just say there, Maxfield? All right. Mm -hmm. right. That's cool. Well, we just finished up at this little spot. Now we're going to get some dinner, and then uh, we're going to go back to the lab and just do some fishing from shore and hang out for the rest of the night. Okay. It's not staying here long, but you can get out of the dip net and play in this. Okay. It's a pretty good little spot. What sure. We're just going to look here and maybe play with the dip net or something. Dip net? Yeah. If you want. They're all on top of his van. Alright. Anything says Gambuza? I didn't think that Venus flytrap was. I thought well, at first I thought it was native, and I thought it well, couldn't be. You know. Pygmy sunfish and also a pygmy killie. He knows his dragonflies. Maybe you know which one. He just morphed. He just morphed. He's real soft. Yeah, he yeah, he just morphed. He's gonna go sit in the sun and dry out now. He's got some fire in the different or saying that we're busy sanding the ditches of Tate's Hill. I think that's about as big as I get. Yeah. Yeah, red fins get a little bigger than the northern subspecies. Yeah, that's cool. 
Just caught this guy under the ditch. Looks like a russet fin. Oh, oh cool. Those are huge. Look at the size of those fins. See the spots on them, the gold, the gold spots? Yeah. That, that's one. Look at this size of that thing. What's that? Okay. Well, these are a little more elegant. Bandits are kind of chunkier like. Okay. But they still have the blue spots, but just not a not as many. Yeah. Warm mouth in here. There we go, warm mouth. We just, this whole place has been a lake. Bandit yeah, sunfish. Dry and mad as hell. This year we've had, yeah. Hmm. That's why we're doing all the road work. Cool, so all the animals. Is, this is just. Yeah, that's pretty. There's a beautiful golden top minnow that I just caught. About the worms over. Yeah. No one in Maxfield also just got these. Another little marsh killie fish. Noah caught it. No. No. So this is a Mohara. Uh, he spelled it, but M O J J or something. Yeah, Mohara. Spell that. I've heard of them. I don't know how to differentiate the species. Is that focused? I can't really see. Oh, listen, good people, a story I'll tell of a great swamp in Florida, a place called Tate's Hell, 140 square watery miles with millions of skeeters and big yellow flies. And where all about the moccasins lie with glittering death in their beady eye, where bull gators beller and panthers squall. Now this is a place to be shunned by all. Old Tate left Sumatra long about dark. He had his two big dogs, a puppy named Spark, an old long tom shotgun, a sharp barlow knife that panther would sure have the chase of his life. A little past moon down, the dog struck the scent. Through bramble and tie tie, a running Tate went for hours and hours until it was dawn. Then Tate knew that he was a long way from home. He blowed through his gun barrel, the dogs did not hear. The panther had killed him, and now Tate felt fear. The sun was not shining, the mist it was thick. Oh, Lordy, Tate hollered, I'm lost up the creek. He leaned back to rest, and his eyes did not see. The big rattler struck him above the bent knee. The lick was so hard that a sprawling he fell. This was the beginning. A poor old Tate's hell. He opened his barlow and he grabbed him some moss. A cut he made one way, another across. He wrapped his leg tightly and tied it with string. Then sickness came on him. His body turned green. When Tate was discovered, these words he did tell. My name is old Tate, boys, I've just been in hell. These few spoken words were the last that he said. His spirit, it left him. Old Tate, he was dead. 
No man can dispute this legend of yore, how Tate lived a full week and then five days more and somehow crawled out close to Carabelle from that deep ghostly swamp that we know as Tate's Hell. Side business, it's a red algae harvester right here. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. There's some cool water on here. Oh, there's a, another file fish. Oh, cool. Oh, there's a bigger guy. Monster Hank. Did he do with the sinking? Yeah, he messed it up for you. <laughs> but you got one, it still counts. Yeah. It's a the dwarf or the line, a good baby line. Mm. Take that picture with the big flounder. Yeah. Pipe fish. Pipe fish. Mm. Nice little spider crab. Or it's like a like an algae that doesn't necessarily need their root system. It'll it'll be all right. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm eat. Just caught some kind of goby. Yeah. I just caught a blenny. <laughs> Please. Species number 100! Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. hey! Glenny! Sweet! Jason and Noah doubled up on stingrays. Looks like Jason's about to grab his. There you go. Nice size one. Awesome. Alright. 
Here's the release. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, buddy. I'll get my pliers. Yeah, I'll take a picture of the crab that we caught hook and line. Justine caught a blue crab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It might be a coastal shiner. We're not I'm not sure yet. Alright, to give you guys a quick update. Today is Thursday. It's the last day, the last full day of our trip. And it's kind of our free day, so um, our little group actually split up. So it's Noah, myself, and Justin. And we're out just fishing some spots and in the middle of the day once it starts getting warmer and brighter, we're gonna go snorkeling for a while in this one creek. But yeah, we're just going around fishing. The other group is actually on some kayaks and canoes at um, Casper's friend's house. So we're just gonna explore, do some fishing, try and make the most out of our last day here in Florida. And uh, and tomorrow we're packing up and getting back on the road. It's a really pretty spot of sunfish. Just caught out of the boat ramp. Cool. Final stop. 
right before we head home, the Golf Specimen Marine Lab. Yes, that is right. I am wrapping up the video, finishing editing. Although you kind of already know that because it's the end of the video. I never did an outro, outro on the trip, so here it is. It was such an awesome trip. Uh, I got to spend an entire week with a group of great friends, and I met a bunch of other cool people down there too, and awesome people, really interesting people. Um, and we saw so many cool fish, so many cool animals, plants, birds. Is it was awesome, and uh, yeah, I really couldn't have asked for a better way to spend my spend my spring break. So, um, but I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. But most of all, I want to give a huge thank you to Casper because without him, this trip, who knows, it could have been a big mess like it was on that one last day when Noah, Justin, and I kind of struggled. Um, but without him, yeah, he. I mean, he. He set everything up for us and he did all the planning basically for us. All we had to do basically was show up. So thank you so much, Casper. Uh, it really means a lot to me and the entire group I know. So once again, guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoy this installment of Legend Outdoors. You can like, comment, subscribe. Um, I guess that's all. Um, until next time, this is Jason signing out. Legends out.